Okay, again, you're going to actually get two weaker uh, bar magnets because the model is it's behaving just like a coil, right? If we're imagining, if our model is we've got all these atoms such that the electrons are lined up and orbiting in the same direction. So there's one orbiting that way, and there's one orbiting that way, and there's one, and there's one, and there's one. It's just like having lots of current loops or lots of coils, loops, lined up in the same direction. So if you cut it in half like that, you just get a smaller number of atoms, each with those loops, uh, those electronic current loops lined up in the same direction. So I just end up with a magnet. One has a south and north pole, and the other one has a south and north pole with magnet, magnetic field pointing away from one end and towards the other end. Okay. So it seems like the only possible pattern we can get for a situation like this is a dipole pattern. 